What's up, guys? No intro, none of the usual craziness. Uh, today was a big day. Today was a monumental day, and uh, I personally needed it. As a human, I needed it. So let's talk about what the NBA did today. Before we get to that, let's not forget what brought the NBA to this point. So much. So, so, so much. And the inhumanity and the ununderstanding and the uneducated and it's it's really it's it's starting to take a toll on me it's a lot like i've been out here trying my best but it's just at some point you know it just really gets to i needed today i think what the nba came out and did today and what i expect them to do for at least the next couple of days was massive was massive uh, I, of course, you guys see all the dumb, ignorant shit that's out there. Oh, these guys make millions. Oh, shut up and dribble. Oh, must be nice. These guys work their whole lives to be the 1% of the 1% of the 1% to hope to maybe one day be good enough to be an NBA player. So many players are risking so much. And if you don't comprehend that as a person, I personally can't help you. Today was massive. And I'm so proud of the NBA players. Uh, not just as basketball players or athletes, but as men. Um, I think it was huge. I think it was huge. I knew how much I needed it. Shit's so fucked up. I mean, don't get me wrong. Shit's been so incredibly fucked up for so long. But... We just need something. I personally needed something positive. I can't speak for everyone else. I needed something. Because at some point, you just keep seeing all of the murders of unarmed black people for no reason. And it's not stopping. It's disturbing. It's hurtful. Soul crushing? I don't. I wish I knew how to put it into words. But it's tough, right? And as a white man, literally this, a white straight man, the safest person in America, I'll never be able to fully understand what they're going through. And all I can do is, all any of us can do, no matter how old or young you are, is to do your best. To keep trying to learn. Keep trying to progress. Uh, I'm definitely much more aware now than I was at 18, than I was at 22, than I was at 25, than I was at 30. And, and that's okay. But I just think we have to be willing to learn and grow and progress. And we have to stand up to what's not right. Like, I see a, whoo, America, America, I love this country. Breaking news, guys. Black people are Americans. They're Americans. So you're going to be, it's one side, it's, whoo, America, I'll do anything for this country, except part of my ass. And then on the other side, it's like, let's kill those black people, whoo. I guess it's confusing. And I don't, I think I'm just, I think it, all intelligent people or people who are at least open to learning are just as confused as me. And no one has answers. And I, I've heard a lot of people say today on my Facebook, oh, well, ooh, so they don't play. What's that going to change? If, if that's your stance, then again, can't help you. Cannot help you because... If you can't see what this means, then you're never going to get it. You're just stuck in your ways. And I hate to say it, but maybe you're lost. I hope you're not. Because I think people still always have the ability to learn and grow and do better. I've grown a lot. I've tried to do better a lot. So... I don't know. Today was just monumental for me. I saw, 
I saw the Raptors talking about it yesterday, and I thought, they're not really going to do this. And then sure as shit, man, Milwaukee Bucks were the first dominoes to fall, and good for them. Good for fucking them. Good for them. And then everyone else, guess what, guys? There won't be games tomorrow either. The Milwaukee Brewers didn't play today. Jason Hayward, MLB player, sat out today for personal reasons. Guys, this shit needs to be addressed, right? It needs to be addressed. And uh, we ha all have to do a better job of understanding, doing our best to understand, doing anything. We're all in this together, right? Don't we all want a better country? I can't say make America great again. America was never great, but we can be better. We can do better. We can try harder. All of us. Black people, white people, Mexican people, Muslim people, Native Americans, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, all that team. Like, we can all do better. We can all do better. Because while, yes, all lives matter, all white lives have always mattered. All black lives have not always mattered. And that's not a, an opinion or a statement or a, something I'm making up. It's factual. Slavery, 400 years, not being able to vote. I mean, I could go on and on, but I don't want this to be a nine hour video. So, the key message is, big ups to the NBA and their players, man. Today they were heroes. Today they were heroes. To use the voice you have and say, fuck this. I say, no, if, no justice for all, no basketball. No, until we can get justice for every single, every single person, fuck it. No baseball. No football. Yeah, bet that'll anger those motherfuckers then. It's got to change, guys. It's got to change. And I think there's an extra... I don't want to call it a burden because I feel like that's an improper word. But I think, unfortunately and sadly, as this is to say it, we have a louder voice than anyone else because we are the most privileged and so we have to stand up and say, hey, this shit, not cool, man. Not fucking cool. We can't let it happen anymore, and we won't. And it's not going to be an overnight process. It's not going to happen in a week, two weeks, a month, a year. But you got to start somewhere, don't you? And on that note, I'm extremely, extremely proud of the NBA players. I, it really warmed my heart today. I needed today. Uh, I needed today. The last couple days with everything, the last few weeks with everything, has been really brutal. Uh, it's taken a, a toll on me. So, big ups, NBA. Big ups. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. Is, it, is justice for all? Equality for all? Too much to ask? Like, they're not asking for a lot feel like it's pretty reasonable. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get off of here. All I ask is that you use this time to really sit back and think. Think how you think. How you think. think how you talk. Think how you express yourself. See if you can do a better job. I love you guys. Everybody stay safe. We'll see you soon.